Oh my god. That's the craziest orb footage I've ever seen in my life. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello, my name is Loie. Today, we're going to be watching some of the scariest examples of paranormal content ever uploaded onto YouTube. I was watching one of my favorite channels, Bizarre Bub. You guys know if you catch the Scream streams live that I love a good Bizarre Bub video, a good Bizarre Bub scary compilation. And while watching it, I realized it was probably the best like paranormal compilation I had ever watched. These videos are some of my favorite ghost videos I've ever seen on YouTube. And I really think they're gonna creep you out as well. Without any further ado, Let's get into the hauntings. On April 16 of 2023, at around 12 a.m., a man named Jacob wakes up to a strange noise outside his room. Trembling with fear, he gets out of bed and encounters something that leaves him extremely unnerved. Now, not too long ago, I featured a video from Jacob, who you may remember as the man who inherited an old house and a creepy clown doll that both belonged to his grandmother. I did not the hear about that. Doll, known as Jeffrey, scares him. Because I this, can't imagine that he keeps him. Jeffrey locked up in a separate room away from him. But then one night, something happens that spooks Jacob out of his mind. It's close to midnight when a loud bang wakes him up. He hears a couple more noises before suddenly realizing that the sounds are coming from the room next to his where the no! clown doll is talking. What happens next scares the living daylights out of him. Stop! Take a look. This is definitely like a house this man inherited though, right? Like people are not really putting that kind of wallpaper on the walls these days. Or maybe they are, maybe they just have absolutely impeccable taste. I love wallpaper. Give me wallpaper all day long, baby. But anyways. No, I don't do clowns either, chat. I'm not really a clown girl. Okay, so something's obviously next, next door. If he's hearing like something very clearly like thudding against the wall. That's a lot of noise. I really, I, I really don't want the clown to be standing up. I really want the clown to just be on the floor. Okay, so he's sitting on the floor. Okay. Why do I feel like I'm about to get jump scared? Why? Why am I about to get jump scared? Why am I about to get jump scared? Why, 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 why? I can feel it in my bones. Okay. It's really dark down there. That literally sounds like something walking up the stairs. <gasps> As Jacob checks the room where the sounds were coming from, a loud noise is heard from downstairs. He looks nervously down the staircase when suddenly the sound of footsteps going up the stairs is heard. I hate it. Yet, as he looks closely, no one appears to be there. Hate he it. He then quickly turns around to see hate the door that. opening slowly, hate that. showing Jeffrey. Absolutely hate that. If that is not staged, I absolutely freaking hate that. Like if that clown doll just turned its little head to the side, like I really don't like it. I really don't like it at all, friends. I'm gonna say that maybe you should burn it with fire because what, what is that? So this needs to be burned. This needs to be tossed into the Pacific Ocean. Slay. 
whose head is now in a different position, initially seen facing the wall. The clown is now staring at the door. Jacob quickly ends the video here and locks himself in his room until the following morning. After this night, he was absolutely certain that Jeffrey was haunted. Yeah. Afraid it might happen again or something worse may occur, he decides to move Jeffrey into the basement. Um, another update. You know, I think I, I'm definitely going to be moving Jeffrey. Like, with whatever happened last night, I don't want him near me. Jeffrey? Um, Jeffrey is much I'm too large to be something in your house that you're afraid of. And I mean this with so much love and light, but like... I have haunted dolls. I have haunted objects, whatever. Miss Corn Crisp is my latest one and she's my biggest one. And she's a big freaking doll. But this thing kind of looks like a person and it looks really big. And if you really are scared of it, imagine if it stands up on two legs. It doesn't even have to actually do it. Just imagine it. Because you will never know peace again after you imagine this thing staring at you in the eyes while it walks on two feet. Just think about it. Like, it needs to leave your home, my brother in Christ. Like, it needs to go. But, like, why is this man in the basement? Just, like, just get rid of it. There, I know it's your grandmother's, but, like, at the very least, get it out of your home. I'm gonna be putting, I don't want him near me. Um, I'm going to be putting him in the basement. So, I'm going to follow up. Great. This is the result so far. So, I'm you're... Leave him here. I just don't like positioning him like a little person. I don't like him being cross-legged facing the wall. When he takes out his vengeance on you, he's going to be really pissed. You put him facing a wall. Like, when he turns towards you in the middle of the night, you're not going to like that. You're giving him every opportunity to, 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 to scare the crap out of you. A camera here. That's a good idea. Jeffrey's camera. still here. So... Until he leaves. We're see if there's anything I miss. Until he walks on two feet. Now, unlike before, Jacob will keep an eye on Jeffrey by placing a security camera in front of him. If anything happens, he'll be notified immediately via a notification sent by the camera. Fast forward to a few nights later, and he's notified of movement inside the basement. He checks the camera's live feed and sees that the camera is moving side to side. It really is now, getting dead silence. Him, as he forgot that the heater on which the camera was placed on top has a timer that turns it on and makes it oscillate. Okay. The heater had simply turned on during this time. But as he continues to watch, something happens that no! terrifies him to his core. Watch. No. 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 Well, not with the paranormal activity-esque, like sliding the camera back and forth like that. No, 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 no. Did he move? I don't think he moved. I don't think he moved. I don't think he moved. I think he's about to move. Oh my god, please! Please! Burn it with fire. Please get rid of it. Please, 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 please! This man is so- <gasps> Oh no. Oh. oh my god, I'm so scared. Please, no, 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 As the no. camera oscillates from side to side, the clown's arm eerily... I really thought, I really, really, really thought he was going to jump at us. And, oh my god, I have chills. No. Please, no. It's so scary. Well. Moves on its own. Seconds later, the light bulb blows out in a loud explosion, making the basement completely dark. Following that, a strange voice is heard whispering something that's hard to make out. Not much else happens after this, but everything that happened before was enough for Jacob to decide that Jeffrey should remain locked up in the basement. Jeffrey continues to be recorded in case he moves again. For now, no further updates have been posted by Jacob, but until then, this video remains a mystery. I hate it. I hate it. I love a haunted doll. You know I love a haunted doll. You all know I love a haunted doll. I just truly also have my own limits. And I think that my limits are drawn at something banging around my house.
This is Jeffrey's origin. A man named Jacob lives in a house that he recently inherited from his grandmother. Jacob isn't too sure if he wants the house, as it's out of shape and requires a lot of fixing. But after the following incident, it seems that he's already made up his mind. Why it's would late you? At night, when Jacob wakes up to a noise inside his bedroom, this. The fact that this doll came with his grandma's house and he ever slept with that thing staring at his bed is completely beyond me. I mean, just entirely beyond me. Oh my God. This is what he caught. Oh my God. All right, so this is apparently what was originally seen. So he's freaking out in the same way he was. Oh, that's loud. It's about as loud as the last video. Why did the captions just say the all right? Okay. So there's definitely just nothing in the closet. I, I'm sure all of that also probably just came with his grandma's place. That little doll was kind of creepy though. What was it banging against? There's like clothes against that wall that it sounded like it was coming from. Oh no, it wasn't a wall this time. It was the closet. I was thinking about the last video we watched. Of the <gasps> A knocking sound can be heard coming from the closet. However, when he checks inside, nothing is in there. But then, moments later, loud banging can be heard from the other side of the room. You're joking Clearly, me. Clearly, Jacob was spooked out of his mind. So this isn't even the first instance of the clown doll looking over at you? And the clown doll is still in your house? This thing has looked at you twice? This was, it was not the first time in that other video? I genuinely would never have that in my room. That is where Jacob and I are, are quite different. Yet something else happened that Jacob didn't realize until rewatching this video. Oh. At the start of the clip, the clown doll on top of the drawer can be seen staring at the bed, but then later, it is seen staring at the door. Ever since seeing this, Jacob has moved the doll downstairs to the living room. He states that it came alive that night and is glad that he caught evidence of it. Although pretty spooky, the video remains a mystery. I thought there was going to be something else. I think all he was really saying was that like he didn't even realize that the doll was facing the front. It's just he got jump scared by the doll. That makes a lot of sense. That would be so scary to look back at a clip like that if you if you didn't even like have a reference the thing about this is obviously that this is a new house to jacob who's like filming all of these videos right maybe he just doesn't know the sounds that come from inside of the house and stuff like that but when you've got like clip. multiple instances of things happening with this specific clown i know that it obviously came from his grandma so there's probably some kind of like attachment even if there is any kind of sentimental attachment to something like this it's very active, banging against walls, waking you up out of a dead sleep and stuff like that. There is quite literally nothing about the clown doll that is even remotely, like there are no good qualities to it. It's human sized. It's doing creepy things all the time and you don't even want it in your house. If you're really interested in the paranormal and like maybe happenings around that doll, I could understand keeping it. Like someone like me would probably keep it because I love all things, you know, spooky and paranormal and whatnot. But if you are just the average Joe Schmo living in an inherited home from your grandmother, dude, put the doll into storage because there's clearly some kind of creepy attachment to it. Spooky, the doll is spooky, it's all spooky, but maybe just burn it with fire. That could be a good idea, you know? All right, back to our original compilation. Now that we've gotten our, you know, Jeffrey the doll, <laughs> Phil, now that we're uh, up to date on the Jeffrey lore. This next video comes from a man whose entire home is filled with Bibles and other religious artifacts that he worships on the daily. If he's not praying, then he's most likely sitting at his piano playing a song with verses from the Bible. Pretty much every- 
Sorry, I don't know. I, I I didn't mean to make like a face at like religion as a whole. I just, it, it, it was like the immediate act of like, there are Bibles all over your house. I guess I just was like, oh, so it's haunted. Oh, so there are ghosts everywhere. But like, obviously people who are just really into their religion, there's like nothing scary about that. I assume this is going to get creepy in some capacity, but I literally was just like, oh, so you're performing exorcisms on a daily basis. They're like, there's Bibles all over the house. And I'm like, oh, so there, there are demons as well, right? Like, I don't, I don't know where my line of thinking is. Pretty much everything he has or does in this apartment is based on something religious. Now, you might okay. be thinking that this man is simply devoted to his religion. While that's partly true, the main reason as to why he prays a lot has to do with something completely different. As it turns oh, out, this man. Oh, so it is what I thought. There are demons. Oh my God, there are demons. Dang. I'm so good, man. I get them right every single time. I see a house, I see a bunch of Bibles, and I say demons. Man, I'm never going to second guess myself again. I was just right. As to why he prays a lot has to do with something completely different. As it turns out, this man has been experiencing strange happenings in his home. Ever since visiting his father's gravesite at the cemetery, he can't shake the feeling that something has followed him home. Whatever oh. it might be, he's deeply afraid of it. For this reason, he's been praying and singing religious songs more so than usual as an attempt to get rid of the evil entity that now lives in his home. Oh. One day, while taking a nap, he wakes up to a loud noise in the living room. He grabs his phone and records this. Bueno. Estoy grabando este video porque estoy tratando de dormir, pero acabo de escuchar un He golpe said, duro. well, I'm recording this video because I'm trying to sleep, but I just heard a knock in my living room. So I decided to record it because it's been happening for a few days. He says, and strange things have been happening in the apartment. It's 4.15 a.m. Well, 4.13 a.m. to be exact. So, and there's like all this air. Maybe it was just him breathing. It seems weird to me that strange things are happening at this time of day. So. Dining room, he says. Look, that's my dining room. And there's literally like the silverware in the back. My windows are closed, closed. This has been going on for a week now. And I think it's very strange. I find it very strange that these things are happening. Feeling slightly unnerved, the man sees a set of eating utensils swing side to side. As that's tough. I mean, maybe he could double check that there's events or anything, but that is weird. That is weird. As though a strong breeze had passed by. But as the man points out, all windows are closed shut. Naturally, he was stricken with fear. It also, but not as much. Looks so bright outside for 4:15 a.m. Like really bright outside. Maybe I'm not understanding correctly, but it's so bright. Maybe he just lives somewhere where it's that bright first thing in the morning. Much as the next incident, as what happens then leaves him terribly shaken up. A few days after this occurrence, the man uploads a video in which he appears to be deeply distressed. Watch. It won't leave me alone, 1.45 p.m. What is it, is my question. So the piano just started going off. It shows the time, yeah, 1.45, 1.43. Getting up. So it was a piano key, which makes me wonder if something's going to be like moved around the piano. I didn't even notice a piano in the first clip that we watched. Ooh. Okay, okay, it's like a little keyboard, right? In the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. Oh, 
en el nombre de, de Jesús ordeno que te vayas. In the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. Oh, and it keeps playing the piano. That can't be good. En el nombre de Jesús te ordeno que te vayas. So in the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. Um, en el nombre de, de Jesús, in the name of Jesus, I vayas. command you to leave. And it's after that second time that the piano plays. Can you, you have no right to be here. I command you to leave. Can you see the keys pressing down when it happens? Or is it just playing in random intervals? I know we're going to get jump scared. I command you to leave in the name of Jesus. I know we're going to get jump scared. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, that's... Stop. So you can't... Oh, that's so creepy. That's actually so scary. That's appearing to be fed up with so creepy. Oh my God. Why can you see it move? I was going to say if it's just like the sound of the keyboard, maybe it's just malfunctioning or something like that. But like if the key is going down, like something's pressing it. Oh my God, please. Pose it spirit. The man tells the spirit to leave at once. But after having done so, a piano key is seemingly pressed by an unseen force. The man quickly rushes out of the room in a panic frenzy. It was now clear to him that something was provoking him. But as if that wasn't obvious enough, four days later, this happens. It's three in the morning when the man and his girlfriend, who was staying the night, wake up to strange noises. What happens next leaves them highly unsettled. Oh God. Take a look. Paranormal activity in my house again. Well, I'm going to record this video because I'm hearing noises again in my apartment. It's 3.16 a.m. And she says, listen, listen. Is it in the living room? Yes. I'm not alone this time. His girlfriend decided to accompany him. Yeah. So something fell in the kitchen. And she definitely seems freaked out, too. She's braver than anyone I've ever met in my life to actively go into a haunted house. Oh. Where stuff like this is happening. Okay, so he's going to go to the kitchen. Is the piano going to play again? I'll scream. No? It definitely sounded like something... Broke. Everything seems quiet here, is what he said. In the name of Jesus, manifestate. So he tells it to reveal itself. It's coming from the kitchen. In the name of Jesus, manifestate. You can like hear something talk. Oh, maybe it was her. Oh, it was the wind chimes. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a vent over there. Manifiestate en el nombre de Jesús. Te ordeno que te manifiestes. 
Do people usually have wind chimes in their houses? I think it broke something. Yeah, be careful walking in there. It sounded like glass broke, dude. Yeah, I thought it sounded like... Oh! Oh, a cupboard opened. A cup, yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that everything was open. Oh my god, but yeah, everything is wide open. Ooh. Strangely, the wind chimes move on their own, and the kitchen appears to be ransacked. Yet according to the man, no signs of forced I entry I heard my were dog anywhere. drinking his water, and it literally jump-scared me. ...or in the house. Further adding to the strangeness, the man says that his girlfriend felt very ill only minutes after this incident. Oh, Whether no. or not this had something to do with her sudden illness is unknown. But considering what happened only days later, the man can help but think that the spirit was responsible for this. It's late at night, and the man is- Oh my god, this house never stops! It just keeps going! It's once again woken up by mysterious noises when this is captured. Oh my god, it's literally 3 a.m. How he's still in that house is beyond me at this point, but... Okay, it's just really dark. I can't make out much. There's a piano, obviously. Did he take... Oh, no. Okay, it's the same room. I thought it was different because it was so dark. Okay, that sounds like something in the kitchen, maybe? Yeah, that sounds like it's in the kitchen. Tell me why. <laughs> I thought you, I, I thought my dog, I thought Riley eating his snack. Hi buddy, go back to what you're doing, sorry. I thought that was the ghost. This entire time I'm like, damn, that ghost is noisy as heck. Just my dog eating his, eating his food. <laughs> Great. Okay, no broken glasses, no dog food on the, on the floor, nothing. What's going on? Ooh! I was gonna say it sounded like it was following him. Oh my god. Oh my god, there was a shadow. There was a shadow on the ceiling. <gasps> oh, it probably was just his. Oh my god. Oh my god, that scared me so bad. When he moved again for his camera, I was like, okay, that's probably him. Without warning. The sound of footsteps charging a full throttle oh, can be I hated heard heading that. towards the man before being hated attacked every by an unseen minute. presence. Scared stiff, the man stands in silence while trying Oof. to process what just happened. Creepy. He then picks up his phone and ends the video here. Although undoubtedly strange, viewers find it stranger that the man doesn't turn on the lights in most of these incidents. But the reason for this, according to him, is that the lights for most of the rooms are located at the main entrance, which he stays away from as he's too scared to approach. Whether ghost or not, the man continues to pray and read passages from the Bible in the hopes that doing so would get rid of Poor the strange guy. presence that haunts him. I hope it like I I hope that the haunting lets up for him because I mean it really is over the top with all of the Bibles and all of the crosses and stuff and like if that's not like just up because he really is like super religious or you know whatever and that's up as like a preventative measure. That's someone who's really, really, really going through a tough time in terms of fear. I hope it gets better for him. Anyway. In early January of 2023, a woman named Nancy Malkin had a very strange encounter with something in her child's bedroom. Nancy says that the reason she had went up to her son's bedroom in the first place was because she saw something quite unusual on the security camera that's placed in his room. She had woken up from a nap before looking over at the camera's live feed and seeing a strange orb flying around her son's toys. Mm. It, looks like it would seem though. to zip around in a strange way and react to objects it touched as though it had a mind of its own. 
Now Nancy had been looking at this orb for quite some time. More than five minutes have passed since initially spotting the mysterious orb, and still, it continued to float around in the same spot. Now curious as to what exactly was being caught on camera, she walks over to her son's room, but strangely, finds nothing there. Nothing visible could be seen with her naked eye, but on camera, she could still see the ball of light floating around the same spot. In this short clip, that Nancy's is observing weird. the orb via the But is it not just a bug? Can it not just be a bug? Am I am I missing something? Oh, okay, sorry. I think I zoned out for that part. I don't think I fully was paying attention. And it is creepy, and it's weird she went in there and couldn't see anything, mostly because she explains, like, you can't see anything as it's happening. For a clip, Nancy's observing the orb via the security camera's live feed on her phone. Mind you, that without the phone, she can't see anything in person. Wow. While looking at the live feed, she sees the ball of light That's moving creepy. frenetically. Creepy, creepy, Watch. creepy. Oh, and she, oh, 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 that's really creepy. Oh, my God. It, like, went over her hand, and she now couldn't even see it or feel it. at one point, Nancy starts to communicate with the orb. She tells it to touch her hand when something pretty interesting happens. The orb quickly moves away from her hand as though she had scared it. Nancy decides to leave this mysterious orb alone and call it a day. The it orb is? continues to fly around the same spot even after she goes. Wow. But only minutes later, after rechecking the camera, the orb is no longer there. It has simply vanished. Ever since recording this, the orb hasn't shown itself again. It also Nancy is like in a child's room. Like, it would make a lot of sense if that's a spirit, if it's a really young spirit who's like playing with the toys in that room or like find some comfort in being close to her, but also, you know, is a little scared when they actually touch, when like this thing kind of goes into her hand. That's the craziest orb footage I've ever ever seen in my life i was convinced that had to be a bug convinced it had to be a trick of the light but i really after watching those clips like i really 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 believe that's like an actual orb it's so interactive nancy believes that this mysterious orb might have been the spirit of a child as it kept floating around her son's toys perhaps it just wanted to play with them as nancy states but whatever it might have been she claims that this mysterious orb was intelligent as it responded to everything she did. To this day, she still questions what this ball of light was doing inside her son's bedroom. When it goes into her hand specifically, the fact that she could not see that with the naked eye, I almost wish... I almost wish she had filmed the area as you could, like, like held up her phone to film it. But I also understand, like, using this as an interaction to, like, communicate with whatever this was. Whatever it was, it seemed to find comfort in that moment. And the fact that she came in there and then later it left, they probably found some kind of... Uh, I don't know, some kind of comfort, some kind of peace. Some people are saying it's a fairy or that it could be a fae. That could also totally be it. I guess because it's in the kid's room is why I assumed it was a spirit. But yeah, if it is like a fae or a fairy or like, you know, a member of the fae, um, like I, I, I could also see that. I could also see it being some kind of like mythical creature or something like that. Like fairies also are just like those tiny little balls of light, or at least I feel like that's how people always describe seeing them. I've seen something like that, like with my naked eye. And I was just like, oh, it's gotta be the fairies. <laughs> it's gotta be the fae. In this next video, two friends are hosting a live stream when something pretty spooky is captured live. Now the Feels two boys a little in this video often do live streams while playing during video our games scream late stream. at night. It just so happens that this particular incident took place during an all-nighter or around five in the morning a strange noise is heard in the kitchen. The two usually play in the living room, so the noise was close by when it happened. The boys thought it was a family member who was grabbing a morning snack, so they shrugged it off and okay. didn't think much of it. But later on, something happens that grabs their full attention and prompts them to end the live stream immediately. While playing in the dark, this happens. Oh no. Oh no. 
not caught on live stream footage. Yikes. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I was like, what is going on with that noise? But I guess it was... Okay, so that's all video game sounds. It gets stuck, it gets stuck, and then... Oh, the door opened on its own. And then his friend says, what was that? Did you hear that? The fact that he tells his friend or his brother, whoever this is, is go close it. The door opened on its own. Okay, he's just continually encouraging him to go close the door. Okay. It's 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Oh my god! At first, the fridge door seemingly opens on its own, as though someone had oh, gone over to grab a snack. No. At least that's what the two boys thought, considering that one of them has a brother who wakes up around this time to cook something That up. would make so much Thinking sense that, that they didn't take the fridge thing that seriously, or at least the guy on the left didn't take it that seriously, because, like, like he said, he thought that maybe, you know, somebody got up to get a midnight snack or something like that. But, like... That's so weird that this thing just like scoots across the floor. You can literally hear from the way it drags. I think it's like a chair or something like that that ends up being in the corner over here. It sounds heavy. It's the ghost house now, baby. <laughs> I, I hope you guys enjoyed your live stream because you, I, I, you don't live here anymore. Left the fridge door open by no. accident. One of them gets up to close it. But as they walk back, this happens. <gasps> A chair swiftly moves on its own oh, by more than a few inches, causing both friends to freeze in their my tracks. My God. It was at this point that they both knew that something unexplainable had occurred, something supernatural. Viewers believe so too, but as always, I'll let you be the judge on that. Had something paranormal occurred or had something else happened here? I'm an expert on ghosts, baby. I have more ghostly experience than any woman Thanks. ever should. Oh no. I have more ghostly interactions than the average Joe. As a woman who has had my fair share of ghostly experiences, my own fair share of ghostly encounters, I truly believe this one is ghosts. Like, the fact that it happened on a live stream also, and like all live, so there's like no one with strings sitting in a corner. I'm, I mean, sure. Is that a possibility? Of course. But I feel like a lot of the time on TikTok, when we talk about the scary side of TikTok specifically, there's a lot of the scare factor almost taken out because of the likelihood that the clip that we're watching is very oftentimes doctored in some way or is like a trick of the eye. Like there's a lot of room for... On TikTok, there's a lot of room to fake things and stuff. This was totally live. Like, the fact that it was live may sell me more than anything, actually. Creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Thank you all so very much for watching. What did you think of these creepy paranormal videos? I really loved watching them live on my scream stream, and there are a couple that I really want to look into further, like the clown guy. Like, that clown doll is weird as heck. Before I go, I want to say a huge thank you to my subscribers who are also members of this channel. If you want to join the channel memberships and get extra members exclusive content, including members only videos, polls to help me decide on future video topics, members only updates, and just so much more, you can click that little join button. It should be somewhere around the screen, probably next to the subscribe button. We would love to have you. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you you very very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!